I'm going to stand up nice and relaxed right now. My arms are hanging at my side. Take a look at my how my left hand hangs. It's slightly turned in, and it's just this is a relaxed. This is just a relaxed position. This is the perfect position uh, to place your hands on the golf club. And what I mean by that, if you watch the guys on television take their grip as they get ready to hit a shot. Invariably, in fact, when I get ready to hit a shot, I'm taking my left hand grip right here. And I, what I'm doing is I'm letting my arm hang right down the seam of my pants and letting my hand hang naturally. I'm going to set this, this club on the ground with the face of the club aiming kind of in the direction that I'm, that I'm intending to go. I'm going to let my hand just hang down here to the side. I'm going to wrap my fingers around the grip and I'm going to come down one inch, approximately one inch from the top. And we're going to place the club right where I'm doing it now, right where the fingers join the palm. Uh, it, we do not want it across the palm, we want it in what I would call a natural gripping position. Laura, if you had your pocketbook in your hands, I know that you would pick it up and you'd position the handles of your pocketbook right here. Uh, one of you guys driving your car, you're going to position the steering wheel of your car right in here. So this is what I call a natural gripping position that doesn't require a lot of pressure to hold the club securely. So it's, it's positioning that's, that's most important. The next thing we're going to do before you do anything else, and here's what always happens, people will all of a sudden start wanting to put this right hand on the club. I want you to do one thing first. Spread your feet just a little bit apart and bring the golf club out and set it on the ground adjacent to, the, to your, just inside the left side of your, of your shoe here. Just set it on the ground like that with the face still aimed towards the target and the butt of the club just left of your zipper. We don't want it out here. We don't want it behind here. We want the butt of this club just left of your zipper. That's the proper position to be in. Now, I'm going to take my right hand. I'm going to pretend like I've got a ball in my right hand, and I'm going to pretend like I'm going to throw it this way. So what I'm doing is I'm bringing my right hand up to the club from this position. I'm not going like this. I'm, I'm just simply bringing it up like I were going to toss a ball. I close my fingers around the club again placing the club where my fingers join the palm and there's three ways to put your hands on the club from the standpoint of the of the grip one is called a baseball grip all ten fingers are on the club second one is called the overlapping grip where the f little finger of the right hand just catches the knuckle of the left hand and goes on there the third one which has become very popular because of Tiger Woods is interlocking grip which is allowing these two fingers to interlock the last two are the, t because I don't have anybody here with real small hands, I take a kid or a lady with real tiny hands and I let them have ten fingers. But everybody else I want you to have all, I want you to have either catch, the, catch it over the knuckle there with the, the little finger the right hand catches over there, or interlocking. Most people find the overlapping a little bit more comfortable. Okay, now, here's the hard part. Once I've got my hands on here, on the club like this, I've formed two V's with the first finger and thumb of my left hand and the first finger and thumb of my right hand. Both of those V's, if everybody can sit, can you see the, the V right here? Both of those V's, when positioned correctly, will point right of my chin. I always tell people right ear, but it, those, those should point to the right. And the reason for it is, this is a natural position that if I took this golf club and I'm going to, don't you do it because you're standing too close right now. If I held this club straight up like this and just swung it around my body, see how my hands just kind of naturally rotate back and forth? And when I bring the club back to this position here, see how the face, face is back at the starting position? The only thing different between this motion and a golf swing, this is, this is a horizontal plane, this is an inclined plane. So that's, that's what occurs during the swing of a golf club. And go through this process starting with taking your club, put your left hand on, get it right, put it on the ground, get it, know it's correct, bring the right hand up, get it correct. Go through that process every single time because that's the only way you're going to ever learn to have the grip correct.